Good, Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It's Lisa with Crafting and Cruising and Rodney with Crafting and Cruising. <laughs> He's going to go get me some ice for my drink and then come back and he'll be on comments and then he's going to be helping me some with our live tonight because i had this great idea in my mind and i think it's going to be really cute if it works but he started asking me questions about it and then i was like oh i'm not sure i know how to do that so you know we call him macgyver for a reason um because he can do anything so I figure what I can't figure out, he can figure out. And um, so that's what we're gonna do. Let me see if I can pull us up over here while he goes to get some ice. I just got off of my mentoring class with Chris Hunter, which was awesome and amazing. And um, if you all have a business or, whoops, sorry, or are thinking about starting a business, hey, Carol Stinson. Um, you'll want to get in on it next time because it's really, really good. It's just like all of the basics that crafters need to know to get started. So, so tonight, um, after I show you a couple things I've done already, um, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do and then we're going to attempt to do it. Keyword attempt. If it doesn't work, oh well, it doesn't work. We tried. So, um, we came from, we went from Nashville to Asheville, North Carolina yesterday through the fog. Y'all may have seen the pictures that I posted. It's beautiful though. The mountains are so majestic and I just love it. And, um, then he did a job today. And so while he was doing a job today, I worked on a craft. As you can see, my hands are yucky. Um, and then if you all remember, I did a glass egg the other night on a live well, I have almost finished, not totally, but I've almost finished my candle holder that it's gonna go on. So first, let me show you what I did this morning. I brought my Lazy Susan with me, and it was just plain brown on the back. It's now mostly black, but I'm gonna have to touch up some of the stuff. So um, today, I put a tissue paper with the diamonds on it, and I actually use the iron on method, which I love. That is my favorite because it does so well at getting the wrinkles out. So I put that one on first with the iron on method. Then I used a Mackenzie Child's napkin that I used my um, water pen for and tore out the poppies in this beautiful blue vase that I absolutely love. And um, decoupage it the same way using the iron on method. Then um, I went around the edge while we were driving and I did blue checks alternating with black and white checks. May should have just done them all black. May go back and change them. Hey Maria Nova, thank you. Thank you for being on here. I enjoyed talking, being with you in our class. Hey my sister Kimberly. So um, I have not put a top coat on it but my intention is to um, put a top coat, maybe two or three coats of a top coat, and then um, I'm going to spray it, I think, with engine enamel, uh, clear engine enamel, two or three coats of that, and then I think I want to um, resin it. And if I do, I'll resin it probably with two or three coats. Just watching my car life. <laughs> Um, thank you for watching, Kim. And so, um, and then Rodney suggested that I put a um, car wax on top of the resin once they all dry, just so, thank you, Maria, just so um, when I get paint and stuff on it, I'll be able to hopefully wipe it off. I mean, I, I don't want to do all this work and then not be able to, sh to have it looking neat, but I don't know. So, I, I'm either going to I might either put letters here that say crafting and cruising or I might I might get brave and do it myself I don't know but anyway so that is the um, lazy Susan let me grab the egg real quick to show you if we got in here with it I'm not sure yes I think we did let me get it out of here so I did the egg on a live the other night. Um, you all haven't seen the pearl trim, I don't think, because I went back and added 
I had done the um, little lines in the gold, the bright gold, um, but I went back and did pearls. Just, you know, it's just a little trim. I think I even got the trim at Dollar Tree, I'm not sure. So today, in the car, on the way here, I took this silver candlestick. I used two coats of Dixie Belle Slick Stick on it first. I know my camera's not turned, but it's Dixie Bell Slick Stick because it was a real shiny, slick surface. Then I put about two coats of white chalk paint. I just used the Folk Art um, white chalk paint and put a couple of coats on it before I started painting it. This is actually a napkin, so I cut out or tore out each section. I, I mod podged it on. And then I went around with an X-Acto knife and cut it off. And then I painted these, and I painted these, and I painted this. I'm going to, probably tomorrow, do these in gold, either rub and buff or the um, liquid gold. I'm thinking the liquid gold might be a little bit too bright for these pastel colors, so I might just use gold rub and buff. And then, let me tilt it down so you can see. I will put the egg on top of it. And there you go. That's what we'll have. So it's still a little bit of work in progress, but I think it turned out really cute. This trim does not want to stay on no matter what I do. So I'm going to have to, will you set this to the side, please? Glue it back. So I will put a top coat on this, um, or a couple of them, and then I will glue the egg to that. So, that's that. Here's what we're going to do tonight. I have no idea where I got these little trays, or silver trays, but I got two exactly alike. And then I went to another store and found this one on our trip, which is a little bit bigger. And then I have this one, too, which is even bigger. We're going to make a bunny out of one of them that I've already painted that's the identical one to this. And Ron, you made a great suggestion that if I can find enough of them and do all different kinds of bunnies, maybe I could make a wind chime. Like this could be the center. Maybe it could hang down like this and I could make it into a bunny. And then all of these hanging down to make a wind chime. So, first we gotta see if this is gonna work like it's working in my head. So, I have this one that, again, I put slick stick on it. And then I put two coats of white chalk paint. And here's what I did the other night. I started sketching just some bunny faces. Part of me thought I wanted to just do a half a face up here and then have this as the body. But I think I'm gonna trace around this sketch that I did right here. So you'll see that on the back of this paper, this was just um, from the hotel we stayed in last night about safety regulations or whatever. So I just put it on the paper, drew my sketch, and then I went over it with my pencil several times on the back so that when I put it down on to my little jar thing, my lid here, it's gonna, it's gonna, um, I, I can trace around it. Now I can tell right now that it's too big, so I may have to make some adjustments, but let me cut this out real quickly. And then we're gonna trace this on and paint her face. Then, after we paint her face, I am making her ears out of spoons, the scoop part of the spoon. Ron, you got your comments pulled up? Yes. Good. So, I'm going to, um, I'll show you one of the ears I made last night. And we went to a thrift store yesterday. I bought a bunny. I know, it's kind of sad what I did to it, but... I bought a bunny and I started cutting it up so I could use the fur. I don't know. So, here's the spoon. This is the one I haven't done yet. I'm going to do tonight. Here's one I did do with some of the bunny fur. I think I'm going to paint this part on the inside pink. Maybe even put a little diamond dust. I'm not sure. How'd you cut those spoons off? But she will have ears up here. And she's going to have a little hat that we are going to decoupage with a napkin and her little ears will come out of the holes right here. 
And then the other ends of the spoon are going to be her feet, her legs. And you'll see Rodney has already flattened this part out for me so that we can, I'm, I'll turn it down in a minute, but so we can stand them up on the legs. So, and then we're going to give her little whiskers and uh, made out of wire. So, now you know the plan. Can I just say you look and sound excellent? Thank you so much, sweet Maria. That's so sweet. Um, you know, we'll just have to wait and see if it all comes together because it might not. Um, Kimberly, thank you. I, I thought you might like the egg stew when I got it ready. Okay, Rodney, you going to be on comments? So, here's what I'm going to do. I cut this little thing out. Let me tilt you guys down so you can see a little bit better. We drove... How many hours today? Almost six, I think, hours to get here. Um, so we were tired, and then we ran and had dinner so I could get on my class with Chris, and um, came and checked in the hotel real quickly. And then uh, I got on my class, and while I was doing that, Rodney was unpacking the car and setting up all of my craft area over here. So, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move it up a little bit because I cut it I really want this, I don't know if y'all saw this or not, but she's got a bubble. She's blowing a bubble, like the um, Marilyn Monroe bubble, you know? So I'm, I want that bubble, at least most of it, to be down here. So I'm just going around it with my fingernail because it is too big. So see, there she is. So I'm hoping that when I take my Check Savvy Sisterhood pencil and go around this, that it's going to show up. So if you all will just be patient with me for a minute, hopefully this won't take too long. It'll probably help if I put my glasses on. Ronnie, you can do some talking and visiting while I'm doing this and that would really help me. Anyway, somebody said, thank me for helping out, helping a girl out. And That's right. That was Maria said that. And he is a Farrell good one, Maria. Says, that is so nice. Y'all just bragging on me so much. I appreciate that. Uh, the other thing, I was going to get Lisa to tell you how she cut those spoons in half. Well, she <clears> didn't. He those did. Those stainless steel spoons are pretty tough. But the truth is, she bit them in two. I tell now, the truth. Now, there's several ways you can do it. You can either cut them off with a little grinder. If you got some really big pliers, you can cut them. But the easiest way is to take a pair of bolt biters or bolt cutters. And uh, since they don't usually cut all the way through, I can I stack like two spoons up at a time and cut them both at once and it works better. So bolt cutters are good for cutting up spoons and forks if you're gonna make something out of them. Y'all know bolt, bolt biters, don't you? Bolt cutters. Never heard that word in my life. For cutting locks off of things. So this isn't gonna to be totally even because I did cut it bigger than I should. Y'all should have seen last night when I tried to lay this thing down flat and get my pencil under there so that hopefully I could get it um, the same size as the inside of this. Clearly, that did not happen. But it wasn't for a lack of trying. So, I think I've about got it done. And now I'm just praying that it all came through. Except I did that one kind of bad. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, can you see? See, it's not very bright. That's okay. It's good enough for me to see my lines. I'm just going to make them a little bit darker in a couple places because, you know, she's got on her cute little sunglasses. So, um, and I didn't get it totally straight, but that's okay. Maria's going to be popping in and out because she's cooking a wonderful dinner. Oh, yum, Maria. And asparagus. Yum. And then she'll be quick. Well, you go do what you need to do, sister. That is totally fine. Carol Close says your husband sounds very handy. Sometimes uh, it's too handy. He is called MacGyver, and he is called that because there's nothing he can't do. Which reminds she me... She just brags like that, so I keep doing more. No, that is not true, and you know it's not. Ask Kimberly, ask people on here who know you. They know I'm not just telling a fib. But that reminds me, I just saw today online, this makes me very sad... Um, a friend of mine that I went to junior high school with, her dad was the band instructor at our um, junior high, and he, yes, it is a great trip, Kimberly, he, um, her husband died, 
Um, he had a liver transplant a couple of years ago and was doing really well, but then he developed some kind of fungal infection in his lungs and he never recovered. And um, she said the same thing of him. She said he could do anything from plumbing to, what did she say, Ronnie? Taking a splinter out of her finger. Um, oh, he was, he was yeah. just a great guy. Everything but rocket science, I think. Yeah. So I'm very sad for her. Okay, I'm going to take this teeny tiny little brush. It is Black Silver by Dynasty, a number two. I'm going to get it just a little bit wet. And then I'm going to turn it back down. And I'm going to start painting the eyes while Rodney talks to you guys. Okay. Let's see what's being said here. Um, Cameron said she's sorry for your loss and you've already told them about the carbon paper trick, so I'm caught up. Well, you can tell them something now. Yeah. Well, that uh, salmon and uh, asparagus dinner sounds pretty good for a lot of people. I'm not a fan of asparagus. What about salmon? Do you like salmon? Uh, not really? I like salmon patties, and I eat it if I, if on the rare occasion that I caught my own salmon, I ate okay. some of it, but I've only done that once, so. Not that many salmon around Oops. Tennessee. And Kimberly says, what does your shirt say? <laughs> Mine says A.O. Smith. It says, what does it say, Rodney? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, look. I can't turn my camera all the way around. I mean, my chair. Crafting with my peep. No, crafting with my herd. My herd. Crafting with my herd. A bunch of cows this is one of those um, shirts, Kimberly, that where I went, you know, last weekend with my friends and where we go every year, um, retreat to complete. She always has the cutest t-shirts and every year she comes up with a different one. Okay, this is not starting out so good to paint job, you guys. So, bear with me, I'll have to figure it out. Kimberly says I'll have to try Seattle salmon from the Pacific coast. Well, the ones that I tried were from over there. I went out to Vancouver Island, and I caught uh, two that weighed 25 pounds. Gosh. And one that weighed eight or nine pounds, I think. So I tried them, but just not the same as trout and things like that that catch around Tennessee. Okay, y'all. I gotta put her little white dots in there, but I'm just getting started well. So it, the weather here has been so pretty. It was windy when we left Asheville this morning, um, but um, the drive here was beautiful. I am not liking these brushes are too thick. We even had a pretty sunset that was behind us, so I had to try to catch it in my rear view mirror. Yeah, we did. It was very pretty. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna... Ronnie, would you... Uh, better not use a magic marker. Never mind. Would you see the smallest brush you can find for me over there in... Um, the brush container, yes. The sunset and was actually a little different. It was like gold and yellow instead of orange. Okay, now I'm going to do her little glasses that she has on, her sunglasses. And they're going to be a light pink, and then they're going to have little darker pink places in them to make them kind of look like leopard. So, I think maybe this brush will work for that, but for these tiny things, it's not working very well at all. For the tiny things, I would not recommend a Zen on uh, your checking brushes. No. Okay. Can y'all see? Let me lay it down flat. So has anybody else, you can confess on here, besides me, been watching the Murdoch trial? 
Rodney and I listened all the way here today. Except when he was on a business call. No small brushes. Ugh. So okay, get me the fine tip, fine point um, Sharpie out. Okay, guys. So, I used to collect rabbits. I told y'all that the other day. Then I have one that my mom got me probably 30 years ago or more. Um, and we have the cutest little rabbits. When I go to the top of the driveway a lot of times to leave, there's some rabbits that run across the driveway at the top every single time. It seems like that I go up the driveway this time of year. They're so cute. They just frolic around the fresh cut grass and some little forsythia bushes that are up there. And, a couple of weeks, the little babies will be coming out. And last year, y'all, did I tell you the story about us? We had um, our youngest grandchildren had come down from Kentucky to visit. And, you know, two of our grandchildren and their mom are with us all the time. And... Um, so Ronnie was out mowing the yard and he found some baby bunnies and he didn't see a mama. And he was afraid he was gonna hit them with a the lawnmower, so he brought them in. I mean, they were teeny, teeny, tiny. I don't know how old, but not very old. And we also have dogs outside. And so, you know, we were afraid the dogs would get them. So, um, Rodney brought them in, and we um, first we just got a box and put them in it, made a little, you know, put some um, towels in there and made a little place for them to kind of nest and hide out. And then we have had in the basement an old fish tank. So we got the fish tank out and um, set it up and got them some grass and put in there and stuff. And so we started doing some research on, you know, how to take care of baby bunnies and from the wild and all that. And, we actually, did we go get food, Rodney? Is that what we did? Well, yeah, I went to the pet store and got some stuff and got droppers and stuff to feed them. Yeah, so we got a little baby dropper, you know, baby medicine droppers to give them. Here we are so far. Um, and, hey, Carol Close, you did watch it. Um, and so, they had so much fun playing for, I don't know, a day and a half, two days, something like that. So finally, one night we decided that we were going to put them in the downstairs bathtub. Oh, I'll show them. Can you hold it up there? Look, aren't they so precious? So we put them in the downstairs bathtub with some towels and blankets, and we thought they would have more room to kind of run around than they did in that in that little. Um, uh, fish tank that we had and so and it was warm in our house and so we thought everything was gonna be just fine and got up the next morning and um, either one or two I don't remember which were dead and then over the next few days um, they all died I was so sad and then we had to tell the granddaughters that had gone home you know well the, the little bunny died and um, they were very, very sad. I'm trying to find this picture that I thought I was going to be using up here as a reference. I can't find the one with the little... Hold, please! I don't know what I did with it. Oh, well. We'll just do our own thing. So, anywho, but I love bunnies, and I was very, very sad when and those didn't make it. Do we actually give them milk, Rodney? Is that something we did? I think there's some kind of a little formula stuff that they had there for them, like milk. So sad. Okay, this is our bubble I'm painting. Before I go in and put in the darker little um, lines for on the glasses to make them look like they're animal print. So y'all, one of my lives soon, um, well, it'll be a couple weeks probably, um, at least one of them, I'm going to have, uh, we're our Haitian son, we call him, 
who lives in the Dominican Republic. I told y'all about him. He will be coming to visit, and um, I want to do a live with him and let you all come on and hear his story about how he ended up um, getting to the Dominican Republic from Haiti. And then uh, I want him to talk about his ministry that he has right now, soccer ministry for uh, men, and and then he's got an at-risk boys soccer ministry that's really, really special. And um, so I want you all to get on and be able to um, hear his story, and maybe if you have questions, ask him questions. I think you'll really enjoy him. He's so much fun. He's very, very personable. Um, never met a stranger, I don't think. Uh, and I think you will really enjoy getting to hear his his testimony. Um, you know, it's it's not very safe. It's not safe at all in Haiti. And um, so, anyway, I think that'll be that'll be fun. Okay, let me see if I can just make some little you know, doodads to kind of look like it's leopard print, but not really. I think I'll have to go back, you know, around it some with um, black, but I'm just making, can y'all see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm just making some little squigglies, I guess, is the best way to describe them. No new comments on my end. Okay, Rodney said no comments on his end. We need some comments. I'll read them if I get them. Um. <sighs> Is Kimberly still on? Kimberly, are you still on? If you are, I'll tell you a Vancouver Island story. I've been to Vancouver Island, but you weren't with me. Nope. You weren't, all right, I was not. You were doing painting at the time, as I recall. Didn't you tell a Vancouver story the other night? Yeah, I don't think so. Now, what I really need, did you find my little, yes, you did, okay. I'm gonna take, y'all, if you can believe it, I managed to get here without my heat tool. Go figure. And the one in the bathroom, I won't reach in here. So I'm going to have to kind of let it dry as we go. But I'm going to outline these. Well, if you can switch over to something different for me. Yeah, I can. I can, but I, I can also, I need to go around the little pink lines I just made, the little doodads, as I call them. Well, go on and tell your Vancouver story. Kimberly doesn't have to be on here to hear that. She could most appreciate it because she's from the neighborhood. I don't know if people can hear me well from back here, so I'm going to go a little closer. About 20 years ago, I had the opportunity to go on a fishing trip to Vancouver Island, northwest of Seattle, uh, out away from Canada out there, to do some salmon fishing. So it turns out, uh, from Seattle area, we took a float plane, one of the little single engine uh, planes with floats on it that takes off and lands in the water. So we, that was fine. We, you know, there was two of us plus the pilot in there. So um, I got to ride up in front with the pilot. So it was fun. We were, we were flying along and uh, over the mountains and because we were going to be fishing on the opposite side of the island on the Pacific side. And that, that island has uh, like fjords cut back into it where the where the water runs from the island out into the ocean uh, like rivers there's real deep uh, gorges that go out in all directions from the island and uh, then settling in little communities inside the island are where these uh, inlets or uh, where the water comes out uh, there's a lot of them settlements on both sides of the water but there's very few bridges hey Cindy Go ahead, sorry. So um, we flew in there and on the way in, we were flying over a little mountain range. And as we were going over the mountain range and across the valley on the other side, there was a uh, Canadian fighter jet flew underneath us. What? And we, we were in this little plane, you know, just, just topping the mountains good. And he was, he was uh, 
hugging the ground going through the valley down below us, oh, which was kind of interesting to have a fighter jet fly underneath you. And then uh, we got ready to land. The, apparently the protocol for landing a float plane in an area that doesn't have an airport or anything is that you fly over once low uh, and all the boats see you coming, so then they just kind of move out of the way and make a wide spot for you, and then you land in among the boats. So we did that. And uh, the community was on both sides of the water of this little inlet, but there's no bridge. So uh, they had a taxi bus, I mean, they had a taxi boat, and they had a school boat, it was painted orange, because the kids from both sides of the, of the fjord would go to school uh, on just one side where there was a little school. So the boat would come around and pick up the kids at the shore and take them to the other side to go to school. So that was pretty interesting. And then we went fishing there and I'll save my other story, the remainder of it for the flight back out for another time, but it was rather harrowing. I think you should go on tell it now since everybody's intrigued with the whole fighter jet thing. <laughs> I think you should go ahead. Yeah, there were even uh, mountain goats that were, that were uh, when we were flying up through the middle, sometimes mountain goats were up higher than we were on the sides of the mountains and then the fighter jet was below us. But when we, when we fished and everything, caught the good fish, and got ready to put them in my bragging is that I told people that I caught the fish so big that they had to take the doors off the airplane to get them in. <laughs> Which was true because the doors on this airplane were just canvas, and they could just open them up and lift them up, off like the old doors on a Jeep. So they did take the doors off just to put the boxes of frozen fish in. But then we uh, got ready to fly back, and it was rainy. But these airplanes, this is so old and you know small that they didn't have any kind of um, guidance systems you could use in bad weather. It's all fly by sight. There's the rabbit face. So when we started back out, uh, the pilot said, "I you know I flew in here, but I had to fly in on the Pacific Coast side, and now it's socked in with with fog. So I'll try to get us out." And he cut called us later in the day said no everything's fogged in we can't get out so we have to stay an extra day no bummer so the next morning we got ready to fly out it was the same thing bad weather report we weren't sure if we could get out but we'd try so we got in the plane and started flying up just like flying up a river with the mountainsides on both sides and we could see a little dip up in front where the mountains made a dip and he said we have to go through that little uh, opening in the mountains and we have to have visual. If for some reason that cloud settles down and we can't see, we can't fly over the mountain and we'll get, be lost in the fog and can't see to get out. So we have to turn around and go back. So we got up there and flew on. Right before we got there, the cloud settled down over the top and we couldn't see to get through. So we turned around and went back. We flew back for about a half mile and turned around up the next fjord. Did the same thing, flew up through there and right at the time we got to the top, the cloud settled in, we couldn't get through. And the third time we got up a little bit higher, right up, we could, you actually see the clouds as you're getting into it, just little white puffs, you know, kind of dropping down over and blocking your vision occasionally. And right when we got to the gap in the mountains, you could see water on the other side. He just you know, gave it full throttle and dove the little gap in the mountains and headed for the water on the other side. And from there on in, we flew it about 50 feet off the water and flew all the way into Vancouver. Mm -hmm. so that was a pretty exciting trip. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wouldn't call that exciting. That would have scared the pee-pee out of me. It was real exciting. Okay, y'all. So, we've got this done. Mm. Now, let me... Somebody loves it. They're sending you hearts. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate Let's see. that. Cindy Coke says, hello, hello, Lisa. Yeah, I said hi, Cindy, Carol while you were Flo talking. said, how fun. Okay, so now... The next thing we want to do, Ron, you're going to have to bend it a little more because yes, I put Carol, her face. An adventure. I put her face on crooked from where you flattened it. Oh. Can you bend that a little bit more for me? What you got to do in the meantime? I'm going to talk to my friends. <laughs> See if we get off camera. Take a little sip of cherry diet cherry coke or something. So, okay, you know what? I can start working on the hat. So what I did was I took a napkin, took all the plies off, and I've made some little cuts in it because it's not going to lay super flat on this. 
This is Form Flex. Ronnie and I kind of put this together last night and made a little hat. It's coming apart right there. Um, and it's been sitting overnight. We had it sitting up in the dash of the car today. So, um, to try to get it to harden some. So, I'm going to use my Posh Chop Pigment Infuser. You can see I'm almost out of this. Um, but I love it. I do have some more already at home. And I also use this DIY, um, what is it called? Deb's Design Diary DIY. This can be used as a, um, um, base coat. It can be used as a clear coat. It can be used as a decoupage medium. It's really good stuff. I like all this better when I'm working with napkins because napkins are so fragile. And if you use any significant amount of um, Mod Podge, unless you were to uh, thin it down quite a bit, then it's, there's a good chance that your napkin would not stick. So this is just a napkin I had. Here it is right here. It's got little Easter eggs on it. I think it's so pretty. So I'm not really trying to make sure that this hat has a bunch of the Easter eggs showing because it's not practical with the size that I have on here, with the size of the eggs on here. But I'm just going to put a really good coat of this on here, and then we're going to lay it out. It probably will have some wrinkles in it. That's okay. I have wrinkles. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're just going to embrace our wrinkles and um, thank the good Lord that we're still living to see those wrinkles, right? And um, if it gets all jank janky, then I'll have MacGyver come over here and take over. It's my cop out. Okay, so let me lay this on here. I think I had it one point where I knew they would get at least one egg on it. So I'm just going to take it, where's my brush, and start laying it around here. Like I said, I made some little cuts in here so that it would be easier to lay it. Now I can't see. Sorry, a little flatter. Sorry about that. So let's see if we can get this on here. Mickey Burchard is watching. Hey, Hi, Mickey. How are you? Good to see hearts. you. They are. This is a cute napkin. I have no idea where this napkin came from. But I know I just tore some of it. And usually the Form Flex, if you've never used Form Flex, you need to get some. Usually Form Flex is used in molds. So you, it's, it's like a Kind of like an air dry clay. I like it better than air dry clay. Um, but usually form flex is put down into molds. And then if you've never used it, what you do is you put it in your mold and then you put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Let it set up real good. And then when you take it out of the freezer, um, you let it cure for about 24 hours. It will still be pliable, so you can still bend it. In fact, it'll pretty much stay that way until you put some kind of a top coat on it. It will stay pliable, which is one reason I love it, because it doesn't just get hard when it sits out. Um, and then, uh, if, you, if you don't, before you seal it, if you don't like how it came out of the mold, or if you decide, eh, I'm just not going to use that one, and you want to save your form flex, then you just put it back in the container that it comes in. It comes in a little envelope that has a real good seal on it. They send you a little card, kind of like a credit card, that you can use it to, um, you know, flatten it out in your mold some. And um, it's just really, really good stuff. And if you if you don't know Tammy, y'all, who is the founder creator. Um, of FormFlex Compound, um, you need to go to her page or go to the FormFlex Compound page on um, uh, Facebook. And then um, you can order it $16.95, I think, for a package, but a package will last you a long time. It's a pound. Uh, for a pound? Yeah. Okay. And, for a uh, pound. Yeah, Cindy was just asking where she can get some. Yes. I just tore that, so I'm going to stick it right back up here. Yeah, you can get it 
on formflexcompound.com. And then look on there and see some of the things that um, Tammy has created. I think she's gonna love it when she sees that I use some for my little hat right here because um, like I said, it's usually put in a mold. Um, Ronnie, do you know where those scissors ended up? The little bitty ones or the big ones? The, either one. Right here. I just need some scissors right to trim some of this off and then I may let you take this in and dry it with the hair dryer mm -hmm. so I can do the underneath side. I'm kind of scared to use my yeah, I wouldn't scrape with the sandpaper. My sandpaper right on it. Normally I would take this extra off with a piece of sandpaper if I was doing like wood or glass or something, but I think since this is still pretty pliable. Um, I don't, I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just cutting around the edge right here. Ronnie can take it and dry it. And then, um, I can get any excess off here. And then I need to put a piece underneath too, because it's not going to be sitting flat on her head. So, um, we want it to look good underneath as well. And we have two little, um, holes, little slices in the top right here. Can you dry that and maybe trim a little more, um, for her ears to come through? Refresh everybody's memory so, on what you're making. Okay, so what I'm making is, if it works out, um, I had these little, I'm intriguing, where can you find FormFlex? FormFlexCompound.com. I have these little, well, Ronnie took it from me, silver containers. I'll show you. The one that I'm working on is identical to this got them a long time ago. I don't even know where. I don't even know what they're for. Um, I keep dropping my, my, my towel. Um, Ronnie thought at first an ashtray maybe, but it doesn't have a place to like drop your cigarette or palm or whatever. But anyway, so I drew off a bunny face on paper and just covered over it on the back with pencil. I painted my tray white, the other one like this, laid this down on it, traced around my pattern, and then I painted her face. She's blowing a bubble. Now, I got this one on this trip, which is a little bigger. Here's one even a little bit bigger. Rodney suggested, and I love this idea, that if I can find a few more, I do all of them differently and make a wind chime with all the bunny rabbits on it. Wouldn't that be cute? I think that would be so cute. So, um, as soon as he gets that back in there, let me get some of my white paint and kind of touch up this white a little bit. Did you, you trim in the excess for me? Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little more white on this where it got kind of some of the, the pencil lead when I was holding it flat, rubbed off. That's the only thing I don't like about tracing around with pencil lead, is that anytime you do that, like when I made the checks on the side of my Lazy Susan, then everywhere your hand touches, you get pencil lead on your hand, but it also smears on whatever you had just done. And um, sometimes if you're trying to do something real light, so it won't show up much, and then you go back and see that your pencil line is gone, then too bad, you have to start over. So, should I give her some pink cheeks or should I leave her alone? If I do this, fat made steak and shiitake mushrooms for me and my honey, an Angus burger patty with, patty with feta, avocados, and flatbread. We are happy campers. Girl, Maria, you can come on over here anytime and cook for me. I know. Carol, Cindy, I'm very blessed to have a, a helper, aren't I? And sometimes he even does the crafts. Go back on my page and look at some of the lives he's done. He did a copper tree one night recently. So do you think I should give her, okay, y'all said a little pink cheek. I'm gonna see if I can do it and not make it too, I don't wanna make it too, I'm gonna see if I can rub it around with my fingers so it won't be so. I don't want to round, oh, keep forgetting y'all can't see. I don't want to round the circle, because that's not natural. 
Okay. I just put a little pink. Oh, that's cute. And then I rubbed it around. I may even need to be a little bit bigger. I rubbed it around with my finger. Let's make this one a little bigger and see. And added some water to it to make it smooth out better. Get it trimmed. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. The edges yeah, let's give her. Bit loose right now. Let's give her a little bit bigger pink cheek over here. Let's see what's happening over here on my phone. Okay. What do y'all think about this? <laughs> she in that bubble. Okay. So I'm going to set her to the side and now we're going to, I'm going to, whoops, I almost stuck my Posh Chalk brush down in my white paint. That would have been disastrous. I'm going to see if I can make this lay down with a little bit flatter. Put Pamela another Lori coat on pretty. it. Thank you, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. How are you? Is this your first time to our page? I gotta get better, y'all, about keeping up with who, who's who been here. And I used to be so good with names and things like that, and the older I get, it's not because I don't pay attention, I do. I just forget. Okay, so here's her little hat, the top part. Now, we need to do the same thing underneath, and it will be easier to lay the, um, napkin down on that because it doesn't have so much, doesn't have the part up here. So let me. Pamela says yes ma'am and I'm doing great. Scissors please. Great. Oh, I've got my little ones here. I found them. Here, mine. Well, I hope you'll come back. Hit the follow button if you like what you see and come back and visit us again. What days do you Become do part of Oh, I do lives. I try to do lives every Tuesday and Thursday. Eventually, I will add a day, but not right now because I'm traveling a lot with Rodney. Tuesdays and Thursdays around 5 p.m. Well, on, on, on Thursdays around 5 p.m.-ish, I say, Central Standard Time. So, if I'm a few minutes late, nobody panics. Um... But now that I'm taking this class right now with Chris on Tuesday nights, and it starts at 7 Central Time, um, and I don't want to feel rushed when I'm doing a live with you guys. So I, th I'm, I'm, I think my class with her is basically going to be from 7 to about 8.30. So um, I probably will come on on Tuesdays at least temporarily while I'm taking this class at around 8.30 p.m. Central Time, which is 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, unless the majority of you would be available and would like for me to do it before my class. My class is at 7 Central Time, then I could conceivably do it um, at 5 p.m.-ish again, um, which is the same thing as I'm doing on Thursday night. So, um, put in the comments whether you think earlier or later would be better for you. I know I won't be able to please everybody, but... Um, Diana Rutledge is on. Hey, sister. How are you, my sweet sister? I miss you so much. How is the weather in Mesa, Arizona? I gotta come out there and see you and my... my Dominican daughter. I keep saying all these daughters and sons I have y'all, but we've done a lot of mission trips and gone back several times to some of the same places like the Dominican and in Uganda. And um, I've gotten to be very close to people in both of those places and they're more like my children than they are just somebody that I met. Um, Romano has been over here a few times, been to the States a few times, and um, his supporters are all in the States, and um, I really miss my 
all the ladies in Uganda that we worked with, so I need to get back over there and see them sometime. Okay, so here's the bottom part. So at least when it sits up on her head, there'll be some color showing. Okay, Which so I we're gonna- I if I don't need to, uh, maybe bend a little flat place on the top of it that I have to sit on so it glues better. Well, you could do that too. Here's what do you think? I think that'll be good. Why don't you come bend it for me? I've got my rabbit bender with me. Here's your, uh, look at this tool, y'all, that he's bending with. <laughs> That's some wicked tool right there. Where's this? Oh, Diana, uh, if you're still on here, <laughs> did you see where Debbie had posted about having her dental surgery today? And, um, or some, some uh, maybe you had posted some, one of the admins had posted it, uh, a little meme that, on there about um, her dentist saying she needed a crown. Anyway, when um, I was sharing that with Rodney tonight, and, you know, he, he calls her Debbie Check. So, uh, now she calls him Rodney Check. And um, Rodney said, you need to tell her that uh, a dentist's favorite him is crown them with many crowns. <laughs> but, I figured right now she might not get the humor in it. She's probably just ready for her mouth to stop hurting. Well, I'll close that up a little too quick, y'all. I need to bring this. Uh, this is not what I need open. You just reach right across me. We got everything all in suitcases and bags and boxes. I bet people wonder what in the world we're doing when they see us come into a hotel. It's probably like, oh my land, they look like they're moving in. And we literally do. He has a suitcase, I have a suitcase. Then I have a crafting suitcase. Then I have a crafting carry tote. Then I have a crafting uh, bag that has overflow stuff in it. And sometimes it's pretty embarrassing how much glitter is left on the floor. The <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we don't have to clean up after me. Um, and then, you know, when, we, when we're driving, instead of flying, we can hit all kinds of craft stores and um, thrift shops like Goodwills. And um, he's all the time saying when he's driving the car, ooh, this car is pulling to the right. And I used to really believe him and think we were having car trouble. Now I've learned that when he says that, we're either passing by a Hobby Lobby or a Dollar Tree. Or a auction. I mean, but I will say this, he may not want to admit it, but I will say this. Most of the time when he says that, I'm driving. I mean, he's driving and I'm crafting. So I don't see that that's going on. Mm -hmm. So, who do you think likes to go crafting? They probably think you guys are in there dancing. <laughs> that's probably around. True, Maria, that's hilarious. <laughs> mm, that's so funny. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to, let's glue this other ear on here and I'm gonna see if I can remember how Ronnie suggested I do it. Just glue on the very edge. So I'm gonna first put some in the, why is my glue gun not on? <laughs> my assistant failed me. Maria, I do craft when he's driving. I sure do. Where's the, um, can you hand me the candlestick again so I can show Maria? She must not have been on when I was showing that. So today, when he was driving, I had a um, silver Benjamin. candlestick. I'm looking over here because that's where comments are. Um, and I put two coats of slick stick and then two coats of white chalk paint on here. This is a napkin. I decoupaged each one of them separately. Then I painted all of these, all of these, all of this. They were kind of bright, so I went over them all with white. And then down here, right here, and right here, I'm either going to use gold rub and buff, or I'm going to use the liquid leaf gold. I think this is going to be too bright, because these are all muted colors. Where's the egg, Ronnie? Uh, I don't know. 
um, and this was an egg I made on a live last week. So then when it's all finished, I'm going to set glue this egg. Let me tilt it a little bit so you can see it. So this will be the finished product. So the egg has some decoupage and some paint. And the lines are intentionally crooked like that. That's right. not her We intentionally a made the lines crooked. I did this while driving, Maria. Yes. While he was driving, I did. Yes. You want to show her how you do it while you're driving? Yes, since that's not heated yet. So this is what he made me that I sit in my lap when I am driving. Kimberly Cyber, Cyber Fabergé egg. Um, okay, so this is what he made me. So see, it sits right here around me in my lap. This holds my little bottle of water that I can close. And it's a sponge. Right, it's a sponge. Then I have some holes here for paint brushes, pencils. I have three little containers over here that will hold my paints. And some of them are all, all are also rolling around here. And then I can just sit my project, like today I just had my candlestick on here and I had a plate, a paper plate with paints on it. And um, I had paper towels in my lap and I just worked and worked and worked while he drove. She can't get out of the car in a hurry, but other than that. Yeah, I have to wait till he comes around and um, removes the desk from my lap so I or can. Or she puts it on the dash. Yeah. So, yeah. So when we're not in our, you know, <clears throat> crafting and cruising really started, okay, MacGyver, we all need one of those, Kimberly said. Okay. <clears throat> um, go to Home Depot and get you a box. You can make one. Easy. Um, and so, what did I say? Oh, so crafting and cruising started when we got the motorhome, but um, we're not always in the motorhome when we're traveling for work, and so, um, but I still want to craft while we cruise. So he made that little table for me, and I can just sit that in my lap and go about my merry business. While he's doing his thing, I don't. I don't like to just drive down the road and look at the scenery. I mean, I love looking at scenery, but to me that gets boring. And um, he, when he's by himself, a lot of times he will listen to um, book on tape. He loves to listen to books on tape. Um, that's hard for me because I have a hard time keeping up with the storyline when I am. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. Um, when we're driving. So I'm just putting a little tad bit of glue right on the edge in a few places around here and pulling this up and around and holding it for a minute. And I'll do that five or six places. And then we will be ready to paint the inside. I think this one's going to have a little more fur than the other one had on his ear. Y'all felt so guilty last night cutting that big bunny that I bought at a at that um, thrift store. We have this thrift store. We've been through here several times and um, there's this thrift store called, well, actually, it's not here. It's in um, Pigeon Forge. Let me stretch it just a little bit down here. It's in um, the cutoff to, to Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg in Sevierville. And the, the store is called Karma. And um, every time we go through there, I go to this, let me just look at you, Danny. I go to this thrift store. I thought it was Carms. Car, is it Carms? Maybe it's Carms. K-A-R-M-S, I don't know. Carms or Karma, I don't know. We started a little high. Huh? Oh, I got plenty. Okay, good deal. Okay. So anyway, um, I said I need some fur to put on the on, on part of the bunny. And um, they had another one there that I picked up first. 
Y'all are gonna think I'm lost my mind. I picked this other one up first. He was so cute. Like, I almost walked out of there with him for me. It's so cute. And I thought, I can't do it. I can't tear this one up. I just can't. So, I got this other one. And he's almost as cute. So, last night when I was cutting it off, I felt so bad. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry I'm doing this to you. Okay, this one isn't going on. Ronnie, is it? You didn't even cut this out of the same fur. You only got one rabbit. Hmm. Now, come look. I think we're going to have to get a different piece of fur. Mm -mm. There's some white, and then there's beige. See? Well, you're right. That came from a different part of the bunny. It did. So, can, can I get this off? Can you switch to a different thing and let me take it off? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm back. Let's see. Um... Can't, I don't think I can put this on the back yet, can I? We don't do the legs oh, first, do we? You can, yeah, I would go ahead and put that on, but I wouldn't put it over the top of the bottle, leave it loose there so that we don't have to glue him to fur. Have to have his guidance. So I'm, I just wanted this fur to come up around these decorative edges just so it won't look so much like a plate or whatever it is. I'm not sure. We'll probably still have to trim this up. And y'all, you should have seen last night, I had on black pants and I was cutting the fur. And I know Justin says how you're supposed to cut it and I didn't, I don't listen to him like I should. And um, I started cutting that. I had fur literally all over the bed, all over my black pants. There was fur all over that room. Fortunately, I keep with me one of the um, little roller things, you know, that you roll off your clothes with when you want to get dust and dirt off of it. I keep one of those so I can roll off my tablecloth if it has little stuff on it. And so I had to get that out and roll my pants last night. They were It was awful. It I really was, was concerned about what the people were playing with. <laughs> he, he was concerned what the cleaning people might think or say when, the, when they came in today to and clean all the, the room. white fur all over the bed. I said, you know, I'm never going to see them again, so I don't care. They've probably seen worse. Probably, I dare say. So, it'll be interesting to see if this turns out. Well, it's more realistic with different colors. Ha, ha, ha. Happy accident. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't care that, see, this part's beige back here, too, so I don't care about that. But I really thought, you know, the ears needed to have some kind of consistency with them. So I think when we leave here, we have to go back to Asheville. Well, actually, first we have to stop in Asheboro. Oh, yeah, I wondered when he said Asheboro if he was mispronouncing it. It says Asheboro, and then we have to go to Greenville. Oh, never mind. And then we go to, through Asheville on the way home. Oh, and then we go through Asheville on the way home. <laughs> I gotta get home and do something in my nasty house before Romano gets there. I'm not a house cleaner, y'all. When Rodney and I married, you don't want me to do it up here? I don't. Uh, when Rodney, no, not down here either? No. Okay. When Rodney and I married, I used to keep our house so neat and clean. I got over it. Okay, so C's a little fuzzy, her a little fuzzy bottom. We can go back and trim this up, but we got to put our hat on before we put all this on her. Okay, so. Got that one going? Okay, here's the other ear. First flying. We'll put a dot as close to the edge of the metal as you can. Well, I messed it up. This up, you go opposite each time. I'm not sure I learned that. I think from you. What? I think I learned that. You learned it from me? What? 
it says, ha ha ha. Yeah, I read well, that. Well, it's more realistic. You already read that. Yeah. <laughs> my, I'm about five minutes behind on my phone. Yeah, he's been he's been assisting, so he's behind on his comments. I mean, they don't come over my phone. I know. I I still hadn't figured that out. I need to talk to Chris about that and I figure out. They come over the person's what? phone fastest uh, when you're doing comments like that. But it seems like when people are bidding on things, the bids come across on other people's phones way before it does on the people selling the item. But I see your comments faster than you see. Yeah. I mean, I see comments on my page faster than you see. It seems different than people do the audience. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what, I'm still thinking, I don't, are you signed on under your personal page? Yes. I just don't know. We've tried it every way, y'all. Anybody got any suggestions? We don't know why he's, because I, like, I've got my laptop set up over here, and then I'm working from my phone. And I had my comments swiped on my phone because it's distracting to me when I'm looking up there trying to look at y'all and then I see comments and I can't see my project and it just gets confusing. So I keep them swiped, but um, I've got, I can see the comments on my computer. And for some reason, I get them on my computer ahead of Rodney every time. He's tried signing on under the business name. He's tried just signing on under his personal name and why you've got some folks on here, at least ask them about some different things to make out of spoons and forks and stuff, because I've got a ton of those I need to make stuff out of. So I guess y'all, Rodney thinks y'all can't hear him. No, well, it comes better. So he said for me to ask you, <laughs> what suggestions of things do y'all have that we could make out of spoons and forks? Because... And we have a lot of spoons, forks, and knives. Okay, here's the two ears. Now, I think I'm gonna put just a teeny tiny one swipe of slick stick on here because the spoons are shiny. And then we should be close to putting this together and being done. Just because you're gonna paint the spoons? Yeah, I'm just gonna put a, I'm, yeah, because I wanna put some pink in the ear and maybe some diamond dust, but this slick spoon would not hold the pink by itself, I don't think. It might would have, but I don't wanna risk it. So anybody have any suggestions on what to do with spoons, forks, and knives? I've done turkeys. Now I did make- Christmas trees. I did make a, um, a wind chime out of knife handles that I had fun with. Bracelets and rings, Carol said. Yeah, those are good out of silver things, especially the sterling silver stuff. Okay, I think we can go on and put the legs on while this is drying, don't you? Mm -hmm. Probably about that time. That All good. right. Let's see. So let's try these legs. Get these loose strings out of here everywhere. Okay. So we're gonna put the legs in there before this comes up? Well, I think that you can't really glue to the fur good, I don't think. Well, I was gonna kind of let wrap the fur more around them, like, you know, cut two little slits for them to go in. Hold, please, while my assistant does his job. Oh, I gotta put her, um, cut her whiskers and put on there too. Start cutting yeah, whiskers. Okay, I'll let you do the, glue the legs on then while I cut the whiskers. How about that? I guess if you're gonna let me do that. I'm gonna careful. let you. Put your glasses on. Here, use your big new ones. They'll cut clean. I got it. You do the legs while I do this. Where are they? Well, honey, I don't know. You had them. Me? Right here. Feeling my rabbit legs. It's little bunny foo foo. Y'all know that song? I used to sing it to my children all the time. Man, these things are dull as can be. 
All right, y'all, I'm cutting some little whiskers while he's... Now move your computer. Yes. You may. I can't see the comments, but you can move it. I just had this little wire laying around the house, and when I was trying to figure out how to make whiskers, at first I thought of broom, broom straw, and then I thought, nah, I don't want to use broom straw. So I found this wire in my um, suitcase, and I thought, you know what, I'll just use that for whiskers. If I need to get some more when I get home, I can get more. So I'm not sure I can get quite enough out of this, but we'll try. Sometimes you just gotta be creative and think, what can I use to make this work when I don't have what I really need? And I don't know about y'all, if you're a, a crafter or creator or whatever, but I don't always, I can't, I'm not the kind that can look at something, walk in and look at something and go, oh, that would be the cutest little blah, blah, blah. Rarely does something like this ever come to me. So when it does, I want to do it while I'm thinking about it because I, I just don't want to always do what other people are doing. I don't want to copy, but I mean, other people have good ideas too. And when you're learning and just starting your page, you know, we, we have to kind of do some of those things. Um, but it's going to have our own spin on it. So there's no reason why we shouldn't. I'm trying to punch these little holes we had for the ears right here so we can put them in. All right, let me see if these are dry enough to put a little pink on. In the center, we are almost done, y'all. Thank you for hanging with me. Oh, that is too cute. Did you pull the fur up around them? Mm -hmm. Hold it up and show them how I'm painting these ears. That could either be his feet or just two big teeth sticking out. No, I'm going to do, I'm going to, do I have my diamond dust out here? I think I do. I'm going to sprinkle there. diamond dust on here while this pink is wet. See if it'll hold it. That's it? Mm-hmm. We get another plate out here to do it on. Paint, but that's okay. It's okay. Now well, look at that. I got it on the fur. Mm -hmm. I have to trim that fur off right there. Paint it white. Did y'all see the little legs? Can you bring my computer back up here so we can see comments, please, sir? Love her glasses. Thank you, Kimberly. Okay. <clears throat> Haircut. Yeah, but it didn't cut off very well. I got pink in her hair, in her ear hairs. Okay. So, are we ready to put these in now? So these are going to fit down in here. I think we're going to have to put a little glue. Oops. <laughs> All right. Let me get a little glue. sitting on the thing. So, it, yeah, there you go. Okay, we got one. Hold on, and I'll show you. Oh, wait, it's turned wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's get 
the other one up there and you can yep. see it better. Okay. Put a little, <gasps> put a little in here and then up on well, the edge I'm of the hat too. I'm doing that on the other one as well. So that you're kind of good. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all look. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. Then, now we got to get her on here. And I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do all that when we get done. I'm going to sit this right here to dry out real quick while I put her whiskers on. That's a good idea. Whiskers. Now putting it on this wire not real easy. Mm. I have nothing to hold it down with. Could just put a little glob on the face and stick the wires in it, couldn't you? Why does he have to be so practical? <laughs> yes, I could. Not just that far. Of course. That's why you're MacGyver and I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut some smaller ones when I get home, because I'm gonna want more than this. But, for the time being, this will be fine. Let's see what comments are coming in. What's the hat made of? Form Flex. And Kim, Carol says, so cute. Thank you, Carol. Form flat. Oh, she answered for you. Love her glasses. I already read that. Yep. Kim so I think we're caught up on comments now. This one's a little bit too much. But it, these things remind me tomorrow to get some cutters that cut. You've got them right over there. Well, I need some little ones too. we get the um, hat on, we'll be done. Well, we need to straighten this one out a little bit. Mister? I have no idea what you're talking about. The icing on the cake. I don't know. You have to ask somebody that speaks French. I took two years of French and can't say much of anything. Our son used to quote that line from, was it Home Alone? Yeah. You're what the French call les incompetents. I gotta figure out what else to put right here on the, um, like where I've stuck my finger down on this wire. It's a little dirty. So I gotta figure out what to cover, cover it with. Okay, one more right here. Here, what the French call it. It doesn't mean exactly what I thought. Okay. All right. So she's got her little whiskers. Now we got to do her ear and she, her hat and her ears, and she'll be done. She is so cute, and she's sitting up all by herself. All right, Ronnie. What do you think we should do about this hat right here? I think you should just like that. Push that back. Put lots of glue on this and this. 
Sit this in there? Yes. Leave it back like that. We can always add a little fur around the front if you need to. But I would put the hat's going to sit right on all of that. So I would let me hold it right and there. And are you saying put it on this? Put it on the fur and on this. Okay. Back on the fur a little bit further back. A little further back, it's good. Get where you want it. Just hold it real still there. Oh you. my gosh, y'all, this is <laughs> so cute. If her hat will swim. You might have to put a bead under the front, but it looks like it might be gonna hold. Yeah, I think it's gonna hold. Oh my gosh. Don't drop her, Lisa, don't drop her. Hold her by the backs of her feet, might work. Oh, look! Y'all know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do it on this live because I don't have my things heated up. I'm gonna put some little bitty uh, beads, the little teeny tiny beads right there on the inside of her whiskers. And I need to put a clear coat on her. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Let me hold the backs of her legs so y'all can see. What do you think? Is she cute? You like her? Adorable Angela Cross says, thank you. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Diana. Thanks, Kimberly. Where she sit up now? Huh? Yeah, Where's she sits she up. Mm -hmm. Look. Okay. She's just sitting up pretty as you please. I don't think she's going to be a part of a... um. Easter wind plan. chime. Mm -mm. Nope. She's not going to be part of a wind chime. She's too cute to be on a wind chime. she get knocked around and then... Aww, and she's so sweet. She needs a clear coat on her. And she needs a little bit of... Um, little sparkle right there. Maybe... We may even put a little bit more fur right here on her. Yep. You have some more cut? I'll cut you a little strip. Of He's going to cut me a little bit more so we can put some more on and then we'll be done. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you who came on here and stayed on here so late with me. Um, it's 11.22 Eastern Standard Time. So um, I'm very, very grateful and appreciative for all of you. And um, I hope you have a great night. I will be on again on Thursday, if not before small flower on her hat. Kimberly said that'd be cute too. Um, what are you doing? Oh. So, um, yes, I will be on Thursday, if not before. I have no idea what we'll be doing. Hadn't thought that far ahead. But we'll do something fun. Hmm. So do <laughs> Got a little bit too much right here. Just trim it right there. Yeah, trim it quite. There you go. Okay, now. Now, let's cover up her little top of her head. Yeah, a little flower would be cute, Kimberly. Oh, you know what? I got to put on her feet. But I don't think we brought that sack in. We didn't. The stuff we got. I've got some little bitty. I got some miniature little pots with flowers in them that I thought I might put on her feet. So they're in the car. So I'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, thank you guys so, 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 so much. I appreciate you. Hope you have a great night. And I will see you soon. I love you. Go out and be a blessing and be blessed. Bye.